Hello, lords and ladies. Welcome back to Comic Nation, the oft-ignored series where I review comic books. It's been a few months, but I'm finally ready to talk about issue two of the Goosebumps comic book. So, what are my thoughts? Now, I recall saying that the series had promised in my last review, right? I'm pretty sure I said something to that effect anyways. And this issue certainly supports that belief. The girls, Mia and Ginny are now firmly experiencing the chills and thrills of Horrorland, that monster-themed amusement park where you're not likely to leave alive. Slappy's there, along with what I assume to be a gaggle of other monsters from the R.L. Stein series. The art style doesn't really help clue you into what every monster is what, but I think I spotted some garden gnomes from Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes in there. Anything else is anyone's guess, but leave yours in the comments. Most of the issue sees Slappy escorting the girls through the various locales of Horland. It's fun to see familiar sights, as Horland is definitely one of the more beloved series in the franchise. I'd have preferred seeing more happening in this issue, but we're finally past the bland setup issue, so it's not all terrible. I enjoyed that this issue dwells more on the terror that I love from Goosebumps. Yes, it's a little corny with Slappy and the others rhyming, but that's kind of part of the charm. Mia gets trapped in a hall of mirrors and is terrorized by evil versions of, I guess, her moms? And eventually both her and her sister get placed on the Coffin Cruise, which you'll probably recall from the books. The book ends with Urk, the little monster that could, ingesting some monster blood and transforming, leaving us to wonder what'll happen in the next issue. Honestly, while I still don't completely love the cartoony style the series went for, I'm one of the Goosebumps fans who enjoys the horror aspect more than the comedy aspect, it does work for the comic in a way. I couldn't make out every monster, but they all look really cool and creepy nonetheless, and it does lend Horrorland this spoopy quality you might expect from a kid's horror animated special. And I suppose it's easier to get away with frightening scenes when it's all just text, like the books than when you actually have to put in the visuals. Anyways, uh, the series is chugging along nicely and hopefully the third issue is a great climax to the whole story arc, which I'll be getting to later this month, I hope. Now, what did you think of issue two of Goosebumps? Let me know down below. And now, I'd like to take the time to thank my patrons over on Patreon for supporting me. So thank you to Yasmin, I really appreciate it. If you'd like to see how you could become a patron and get early access to videos and get more of a say in what I cover on this channel, links to my Patreon will be down below. Thanks for watching, and take care.